One of the fundamental sweeps here is just to get this in the back of the knee fit. And what am I doing? I'm pushing out with my left, make sure I come back up into a passing position. Now you can stop here, you've already got the sweep and you've got good grips. If you want to pass, as I start passing, it's important to punch that down and step over. If I, if I let that go, they put their left hand on my back, well, good chance I'm just going to get reversed and they'll be back on top. So if you're going to do this sweep, one thing to remember is you can use the momentum, but use this grip as an arm, defending against the underhook as you're passing. Let's look at that again. Coming up from here, I'm punching across, going to slide through, and I'm in a good finish position. So that's our uh, first sweep. The second one, which I can do them in sequence, or I can do them isolated, is I'm, instead of putting my left foot on the hip, I'm going to switch onto my left side, right foot on the hip, and this is like a reap and sweep all the way at the bottom as I push, coming up in a passing position. Once again, we're going to sit here or look to pass. I can pass either side, it doesn't matter. It's as long as uh, I make sure, I, what I don't want to do is get caught in a, a footlock. I'll show you how people make a mistake. They'll be in one of the sweep positions, and as they sweep, they'll leave this leg over here. I'm uh, putting myself in a bad 50-50 position of, if, if you're not well versed in footlocks, you will get caught. So it's important to make sure you bring that heel back to your butt as you're coming through. I bring that back and then I'm up in a passing position. Even if I let go of everything, I've got the sweep, I, I, I can work from here. Time.